Night football tonight featuring two of the most respected coaches in the game. Chuck Knox first of the Bills, 10th season. The Jets, the Lions, the Rams, and the Bills. The molder of redoubtable defense for which Buffalo is known. But the offense is led by the quarterback, Joe Ferguson, unaccountably with 13 interceptions thus far this year. But still the great wide receivers to throw to, like the former Clemson All-America, Jerry Butler. And that passing game, augmented by the ground game, number 20, the brilliant one from Auburn, Joe Cripps, led by number 67, whom you just saw, the blocking of Reggie McKenzie. And so Buffalo has offensive weapons too. But the opponent, one of the greatest coaches of our time, of all time, Don Shula tonight, seeking his 200th regular season career victory. Developing David Woodley out of LSU, likes the way he scrambles as there. And developing, too, the 50-year man from Penn State, Jimmy Cephalo, the wide receiver. But Shula has done something else. He has done a new thing in pro football. He has brought in the great reliever and developed him for that very purpose. The Bruce Suda of the National Football League, Don Strzok. So tonight, it's the Dolphins against the Bills. The moon is almost full over Miami tonight. The temperature, an almost shameful 74 degrees considering the temperature throughout much of the country. And as you can see from the Goodyear Blimp Enterprise, it's a perfect night for football. And we're live from the Orange Bowl in Miami, Florida, ABC's NFL Monday Night Football, the Buffalo Bills battling the Miami Dolphins. And Howard, quickly warm up your size 7 and 8th computer and run down the overall AFC picture for us. We'll try to simplify it for you. Those five teams have clinched playoff perks. Miami is in blue to emphasize that it's an important game for them tonight. We'll get to that in a moment. Let's go on. These teams are still eligible. Buffalo and Blue, if they win tonight, they clinch a playoff berth. So a critical game for the Bills. And then those teams eliminated. Now, why is tonight important for Miami? If they can win tonight, win their next game, they get the whole field, the home field advantage throughout the play. Protect everything but your ego, because they know how it hurts. Bring They'll go for it again. The best never comes easy. That's why there's nothing else like it. But what do you like? Bring out your best. You gotta reach deep inside. Bring out your best. And now you've found it in the beer you drink. West Virginia tackles Florida State in the Gator Bowl Thursday night on ABC. Off the yard line, and we'll watch as David Woodley opens for the Miami Dolphins. I say open because if you follow these Dolphins, you know that they'll switch around. If he's not going well, they'll bring in Don Strzok, as they did last week, who engineered a victory over the Jets. The offensive line, solid offensive line. They move people in and out according to condition. Of course, Tony Nathan will be in there much of the time. And it's a passing situation. They'll bring in a Tommy Vigorito. There they are. Kutchenberg, a veteran who's gone to the Pro Bowl, as both a guard and two tight ends are in. Hardy, 84. Lee, 86. And Andre Franklin is taken behind the line of scrimmage. It was Chris Keating from his inside linebacking position. And let's take a look at that three-man front that the Bills will show you much of the time. One of the best in the business on the nose tackle, Fred Smurless, Isaiah Robertson. He'll stay in there against the pass, better against the pass than the run. A couple of youngsters in the middle, Keating and Marv. All in all, a solid defensive team. Frank Vigorito in the backfield, number 32, the receiving back out of the backfield. Whitney going for Rose. And a collision downfield on an uncatchable ball. No flag. Steve Freeman, good position on Joe Rose. The ball thrown on the opposite side of Rose. Uncat Ferguson comes out on the year. He's 52.2%. One other thing we might point out at the very top as we look at Ferguson, the Bills have not won a game in the Orange Bowl since 1966. 
first the game. That, the man that could help them right there, Joe Cribb, Mr. Versatility for the Bills. Offensive line, seven-yard line of the Buffalo Bills, their first possession. Cribbs, big hole, look out, and Joe Cribbs could go all the way. There's a sprint for the end zone. And Krebs will win the sprint. First play, right side over Joe Devlin. <laughs> John Borchardt, big gaping hole. Touchdown, Buffalo. I believe that this will break tradition in a hurry. Yes, indeed. Simple handoff, zone block, and there's Reggie McKenzie coming around and throwing the block. There's Leeks throwing the block. And then it's a foot race between Don McNeil. Here comes Gerald Small. He almost catches him from the back, but he didn't. 63-yard touchdown for Joe Cribbs. And the Bills on the scoreboard. They lead 7 to nothing. And the longest run of Joe Cribbs' professional career. So as we said at the top of the show, the Bills have offensive weapons too. We'll be right back. He caught passes from, from faking field goals, and he's done it here with Buffalo already. The Frank president is our referee, Frank. Calm, composed man. And a good one, he is. If you're in the banking business, you've been around got to many be years. calm and composed. 32-yard line. Hardy in motion. Flag is down as Nathan drives the left side and gets about four out to the 38-yard line. Number 62, defense, still first down. Franklin. Franklin powering, looking for the first down. He could be a little short. Franklin has really given Don Chula the type of fullback that he likes on his offensive unit. Talking back, the Dolphins had lost their number one draft choice, the running back, Overstreet. They'll stay in there together. Now Vigorito flanked out to the left. And Franklin, a single setback. Easy first down to the 45-yard line, and Miami gets their first down. Five-yard line, the Dolphins trailing 7 to nothing. We're in the first quarter from Miami. Inside handoff to Nathan. Ball's loose. The Bills say they've got it. Type play, exactly the same type of play that Joe Cripps scored on a minute ago. He gets the ball stripped. There's a Dolphin there about to fall on it, but didn't quite get it. He misses it, and there goes Steve Freeman diving in and gets it. Pickled out right between his legs. Hello, near midfield. They've only run one offensive play, a 63-yard touchdown, and now Roosevelt leaks. And Roosevelt leaks out inside the 45-yard line, gain of seven. He's been simply amazed. He has finally found the form that was his at Texas. Has to think run. 39-yard line, first down, 10, Buffalo. Mosley in motion. Ferguson, complete to the ancient one, Frank Lewis, and brilliant one, I might add. He'll have the first down. He's been suffering through a series of injuries, a back problem. The week of training here at Zero Beach in Florida, other than Buffalo, on first and ten. Cribs, and hauled down from behind. Cribs is taken there by Larry Gordon, the outside linebacker, tough against the run, is just inside the 30-yard line. Lewis, copy the screen. That's Cribs in motion. Good receiver, Joe Cribs. He tried up the middle. Roosevelt leaks, and he pops it inside the 25 to the 24, but it'll be third down and long. Flooding the backs and the receivers to the right side. Ferguson, Cribs, short of the first down. <laughs> Cribs is hustled back almost to midfield, but it'll be marked at the inside the 26-yard line, well within the range of Efren Herrera, Don McNeil there defensively. Couple from 34, from 32, he's 5 and 9. Joined the Bills right after the strike. They bobble this one. That's Kopler, the rookie quarterback. Kopler is going to be close to a first down. He got it. Matt Kopler, the rookie quarterback from San Diego State. Keeps it alive with the 16-yard line of Miami. Cribs, big opening in the middle, and Cribs barrels to the 10-yard line. Gain of six. That's the time remaining in the first quarter. Leaks, another big opening, and Leaks down close to the five, but a flag is down. Just a comment on the way Miami defense has handled the run game. They, they will back the Bills up now with the holding call, but country representing 
the Republican Party in Erie County, is doing color on radio to Buffett. He's trying to revive the bill. Would you give him a few hints about that now, Howard, today? <laughs> Third down, 16. Ball right at the 22-yard line from the shotgun. Ferguson fires it in to the tight end, Bramer. Bramer short of the first down, and we'll have another look at Herrera and Matt Copler. Frank, he double that. That'll be a 33-yard attempt. Repeating Herrera's numbers, he's 5 and 9 of the year. Tips it up, puts it through the uprights, and the Bills move out to a 10 to nothing lead. 4-16 remaining in the first quarter. The Bills, 4 and 3. The Dolphins, 5 and 2. We'll be back. Whitney. Gurriel Harris. And they say yes. Gurriel Harris close to a first down. Was on top, 10 to nothing. Rolled out by Whitley. Whitley first down and more before he's colored by Parker inside the 45-yard line. And a flag goes down, and Parker might have got a little overly aggressive with Whitley. Second down, six. Whitley, timing pattern, and it will be picked off. Intended for Vigorito. Steve Freeman reading it perfectly. Woodley just tried to lay it up. It's off with a bad decision. It's easy to see it from up here. Everybody says that. But Woodley should have been throwing to the right. Instead of throwing to the right, he throws to the left. He had no chance at all over there. Freeman had to play defense beautifully. Interception resulted. Figueredo moved the square out and down. Four. Second down. And touchdown, I mean. Field goal, yes. Cribs. Cribs almost breaks it through the gap on the right side. Taken there, close to the 11-yard line, short of the first down. It'll be third down and two. I think he didn't have a phone call in there. <laughs> third down, long two. Cribs following Leak. He gets a block from Leak. And bobbles the football, but I think he was down. Yes, he'll have the first down. They have marked it close to the 16-yard line. Here's to meeting new faces in new places. For that first day on the job, this Bud's for you. This Bud's for you. There's no one else who does it quite the way you do. So here's to you. Just for you, that distinctively clean, crisp taste that says Budweiser. For all you do. This Bud's for you. We just stole this new Nissan Sentra. New Nissan Sentra. You need this car. We stole it. For only $49.49. Ultra mileage. Front wheel drive. Plenty of power. Five passenger room. Still only $49.49. I need this car. You need a Nissan Sentra. It's steel. That's we are driven. West Virginia tackles Florida State in the Gator Bowl Thursday night on ABC. Dallas has the home field advance. Second down four. Buffalo inside their own 20-yard line. Cribs. And Krebs is taken by one foot there by Bo Camper. Short of the first down at the 23-yard line. It'll be third down and three. Running, but now they're in the shotgun, so you think they're going to throw for it. Wide open is Pacone. A flag is down, and it could have been a late hit on Ferguson because the flag came late. Pacone has the first down yardage. He's up around the 38-yard line. Leaks back in, along with Cribs, setbacks for the Bills. Ferguson puts everyone in the pattern, and he fires it out to the tight end, Buster Barnett. And Barnett will pick up yardage. It'll be mate. It'll be second down and two. We'll look. 
Cribs. And Cribs. Trying the right side for the first down. I believe he'll be short. Completions against them. That is far and away the best in the list. Tim Vogler, number 65, works on the right side. As a tight end type. They'll set in their run formation, give the ball to Leaks, and Leaks hammers out the yardage for the first down inside the 37-yard line. And when we speak of their defenses, we have to also speak of Bill Arnspark and a guy named Tom Catlin that does the work for Chuck Knox up in Buffalo. He's at Fulton Walker, Maslowski to their defensive secondary. Six men back there. They bring Dewey on the blitz. Ferguson. Fires the ball complete to Pacone, but he's short of the first down at the 30-yard line. I just don't understand calls or plays like that. Hey, you rarely win. Kick it into a breeze. He's, it's tall enough, but it hits the crossbar and bounces back into the end zone. No good. And the line of scrimmage for the top 10, their own 30-yard line. Dolphins again up against Tough defense in the Buffalo Bills. First in the NFL after seven games. But Giff, when you have a chance to put a team away like the Dolphins, you put them away. If you don't, it'll come back to haunt you. Ten points is not a big lead. They can make the scoreboard look like a pinball machine and they get things happening. Buffalo in motion. Refers to Duriel Harris. Harris picked up a good block on the outside. David Woodley to Franklin, and it came back to the pitch from Woodley to Franklin, to Duriel Harris, and really the, the, the defense block, of the Bills. Man, watch yeah. this block by Kuchenberg. He just sets up right there. Right there. That was Newman, I Newman think. Newman hit him. Yeah. Newman hit him. Freeman runs him out. Roan runs him out. But the Bills weren't fooled on the play. It was five. <laughs> Franklin again. Franklin just carrying tacklers short of the first down by about a yard. It'll be third down and one inside the 49-yard line of Buffalo. Third down and one. Oh, big hole oh, opens up over the left side. Dwight Stevenson and Bob Kuchenberg occupy that area. The offensive line for Miami. First down inside the 41. All right, watch the Miami offensive line work here. Watch Kuchenberg coming around and trapping the middle linebacker. There he is. He puts him right down. I think he had a little help by pulling him down. And there goes Franklin for the easy first down. We watch Kuchenberg work there. I remember what Bob Lilly, the great all-pro tackle Hall of Famer from Dallas, is that Kuchenberg's the finest offensive lineman I've ever played against. He's something. Started his whole career, now 13 years long, as a free agent. Lovely cross block. Woodley going deep. And did he get it? Yes, he did. Cephalo, tremendous effort. <laughs> Comes down with the football. Simpson was down there with him. That was a great catch. It's in the wake of Buffalo's conservative. All right, watch this. Now, does Cephalo interfere or not? Let's watch. Did he push him with his left hand? Might have. I thought he had a little push with the left hand to get himself in position. Great play. Not a criticism of Cephalo. Very good play. The only way he could have caught the ball was to give that shove. Now, no gift never did that when he was playing receiver. Franklin and Nathan, the setbacks. And Nathan hurt his into the end zone, and Miami's on the scoreboard. 6.48 remaining in the first quarter. The Dolphins and their head coach, Chilla, they never know they're ever out of it. Goes over the Dolphins. 6.48 remaining in the first half. Such an important game for both ball clubs. 5.27 remaining in the first half. First and 10, or ball near the 30-yard line. Whitney, he was in the grass. That is not a fumble. Ben Williams was there. Six defensive backs in for the Dolphins. And picked off, Fulton Walker got the deflection. Also going up for it, Blackwood, I think, deflected into the air, and Fulton Walker gets his third interception of the year for the Dolphins. They have 1.41 on the clock, and they have three timeouts. This game up. Green 
this is Nathan and Nathan is dragged down from behind went right back to him Bill Simpson pulled him down hurry up offense now by the Dolphins and two timeouts remain first down Woodley Cheplo balls loose and Buffalo has it back. Cepelo, just a little lazy, tucking that away. Ben Williams transferred the down lineman with Dewey in the linebacker group. It's all working out. Long third down. Ferguson. Robert Holt. And Holt gets back to the 40-yard line. And this should be out of range of Herrera. A half or a game cannot end on a defensive foul. And that's what the Bills will try and draw. Cribs. Time has expired. So the Bills go into the locker room as a three-point lead over the Miami Dolphins. NFL Classics, presented by Shearson American Express. Here is the poem written in pictures. It's called O.J. Simpson Runs with a Football. Runs with instinctive grace, with speed triggered by power. In 1973, in a monumental effort of talent and will, O.J. slashed and dashed his way to the best season any running back ever had, breaking Jim Brown's unbreakable record and dazzling the nation by rushing for 2,003 yards. How many ways can Shearson American Express turn idle cash into working money? I can do it with the financial management account. It unifies your assets so it can keep all your money working all the time. I can do it with all kinds of commodities or all kinds of option programs. I can reduce your tax burden with tax shelters and tax-exempt bonds. Let us turn your idle cash into working money. Call the flagship of the financial world, Shearson American Express. It's only a dream at first, but to a special few who make it to the Pro Football Hall of Fame, it's the ultimate honor. It was the most exciting moment of my life. For Sam Huff, it started here, in a small coal mining town of Farmington, West Virginia. The only way out to escape the life his father knew in the coal mines was to play football, and play it he did. Drafted for the New York Giants in 1956, he became known as the man in the middle, number 70. He was one of the greatest middle linebackers the game has ever known. Sam Huff became Sunday's idol. In 1982, he received the ultimate honor, induction into Pro Football's Hall of Fame, where he will stand forever as the man in the middle. They're all here, the stories, the dreams, the inspirations, here for you to see and enjoy at the Pro Football Hall of Fame in Canton, Ohio. Don't miss it. Friday. Oh, it's gross! No one escapes the terror of the Ivory 8. On 10 Buffalo at their own 20-yard line. Halftime stats for you. Well, as you can see, in total yardage, Buffalo almost double. Turnovers, you come back with the same stuff against Donsbogger in the second half, you get killed. Three-man front. Now a four-man as A.J. Dewey drops in. Third down, seven. And incomplete, in and out of the hands of Bramer. He would not have had the first down in any event. Now, that's the fourth time this game he didn't throw for even attempted first down yard. A thousand. Oh, my Cater. God. There was no pressure, and Cater dropped the ball, was able to get it off. And it takes a bit of a bill bounce, a lucky break that there was no containment man, and I can't believe that, on a Don Shula team. And to Buffalo, has a first and ten at their own 49-yard line. Woodley remains the quarterback. Hands off to Franklin, and Franklin powerhouse is his way for six to the 45-yard line. Second down, four. Hardy in motion. Nathan, and he just hurdles inside the 40-yard line for a Miami first down. A healthy Nathan is about as big an asset as the Dolphins in view of the quarterback flight can ask for. He is the first-rate running back. And he's got great versatility. He's excellent coming out of the backfield. You'll remember the extraordinary play with the lateral from Harris to Nathan. Whitley, Netmore. Very cool effort.
effort by Woodley. Matt Moore was in a crowd, and Woodley hit him right in the numbers. Well, if that Moore is the story, Fran, I don't know who is. He's back. Williams okay. pressuring, and that one almost picked off. Good position with Steve Freeman. The intended receiver, the big tight end, Bruce Hardy. Both weak at that position. Third down and 10, 18-yard line of the Bills from the shotgun. Whitley, Figueroa was wide open and just off his fingertips. He stands only 5'10", and he just could not get up for it. Strock, whom we'll probably see later at quarterback, is the holder. Kuchenberg will put it in play. We've got a tied football game with 10.35 remaining in the third quarter. We're tied at 10. Buffalo. 